We at Kablam want you to know there are lots of ways to be a big helper, and one of them is cleaning. Remember, big help, better world. Hey, my world's better already. Non-stop Nicktoons weekend. Hey, all you non-stop Nicktooners. We've got some of your great Nicktoon drawings to show you. Hit it. It's Porkchop doing the Hokey Pokey. Sent in by Marissa from Corpus Christi, Texas. Nice job. Here's Arnold and Gerald. Sent in by Abby from Shinston, West Virginia. And check out the triple shot of the Rugrats. Drawn by Amy from Reading, Pennsylvania. Hey, Jim, who draws us? If I told you, I'd have to erase you. <laughs> Stay tuned for more non-stop Nicktoons weekend. Howdy, Kablamoids. Henry's going to tell you about the new season of Kablam with his new professional announcer voice. New shows, new characters. Don't miss Kablam's new season. Kablam, Fridays at 8, 7 central in the Niccolo Zone. Nice work, Henry. Henry and Jews, Nick Tunes. Summer Jam. Weekdays, 2 to 5 p.m. Every day you get another Nick Tunes. A brand new marathon each afternoon. Rugrats, hey Arnold. Keep your summer hot. Beaver's throwing berries dug. Walk till you snot. He's Henry, she's June, that we host in this collection. As we chill on the beach. And the grocery meat section. Catch Henry and June's Nick 2 Summer Jam. Every weekday afternoon at 2, 1 central on Nick. This summer jam's so good that we put our names on it. Your future is clear. I see three-hour marathons of your favorite Nicktoons every weekday, all summer. Hosted by us. It's called the Nicktoons Summer Jam. Catch the Summer Jam with the Rugrats today at 2, 1 Central on Nick. I see sand in your shorts. Ease. It makes you want to watch something without telling you what that something is. Except that it's coming to Nickelodeon weekday afternoons, July 5th. And it's called Henry and June's Nicktoons Summer Jam. Need I say more? You can, Henry. It's a tease. Hello? Nicktoons Summer Jam Summer Crisis Hotline. June speaking. Uh, yeah, I hope you can help me. I'm, like, uh, really hot. Whoa, that's some crisis. I'm dying over here. I mean, it's hot. Okay, listen very carefully. Turn on the tap and splash some cold water on your face. Hey, I don't feel so hot anymore. Woo! Stay cool, buddy. Nice work, June. Thanks, Henry. Summer Jamettes, take note. The best way to beat the heat is to find a cool spot indoors and watch more Rugrats. <laughs> June? Yes, Henry? I'm going to say something, and I'm going to say it very loud. Are you ready? Sure. I'm going to say that next week is the premiere of SpongeBob SquarePants! Wow. That was loud. And appropriate. You've probably seen SpongeBob on Nickelodeon before, but starting this month, he's got his very own half-hour show. And if you'll allow me, I'd like to say that the Rugrats are up next! Thanks for the warning. Welcome back, Summer Jammers. We'll be jamming on in just a moment. But first, June and I would like to share something very special. Today is the first ever Summer Jam Meat Day. All day long, we're celebrating meats, meat byproducts, and of course, the refreshing coolness of the meat section. Need to beat the heat? Don't have air conditioning or a pool? Why not slap a nice, juicy T-bone on the back of your neck? Mmm, T-bony good. Yes, but it's not as good as more Rugrats. <laughs> Man, I just don't know how those Rugrats do it. What do you mean, Henry? Those babies are just so full of pep. How do they keep from dragging at the end of the day? Well, Henry, the Rugrats get their incredible strength and endurance from Weissburst. Weissburst? That's right, Henry. Literally white sausage. This burst gets its distinctive color from a special blend of veal, cream, and eggs. That's a handsome vest. Where can I get some? Why, right here, Henry, in the meat section. Ha, 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 ha where you'll also find more Rugrats. In fact, here they are now. I'd like to take a break from Meat Day here on the Nicktoons Summer Jam to talk about a very dear friend of mine. A friend of ours, Henry, SpongeBob SquarePants. You may have seen him here on Nick from time to time. Well, SpongeBob finally has his own show starting this Saturday morning. Of course, when a new Nicktoon premieres, it's customary to send the star a gift. And what could be nicer than meat? Just ask your butcher to make up a reasonably priced meat bouquet. You can send it to SpongeBob, care of Nickelodeon. Thanks for your attention. We now return you to the Nicktoons Summer Jam. From the meat section of our local supermarket, where Henry and I are taking a little break from the beach. While June soaks up some cooling rays from the fresh flesh, I'll read some fewer emails. Melissa of Selma, Alabama writes, Dear Henry and June, why hasn't Henry gotten crushed for so long? 
What kind of a question is that? A very good one. Did you see that guy's name whizzing by? The animation checker? That's the person who kind of checked the animation and make sure it all, you know, checks out. So when the next episode of Rugrats comes on after a brief commercial break, take special note of the superb animation checking. I am reading your mind. You cannot wait to see more of Henry and me. And then, you want to see more Rugrats. Well, consider it done. Just hang on to these fantastic commercials as the summer jam continues. Nick wants you to start your weekend with a whiz bang. What's a whiz bang? It's four packs of Nick's whiz bangiest shows, hosted by Henry and June, plus plenty of Henry crushing action. 101% whiz bang with Henry and June Fridays after Smellovision at 7, 6 Central on Nick. Boo! All month long on Nickelodeon. Long on Nickelodeon with spooky specials and Henry and June spooky whiz bang Fridays. <laughs> Boo! All month long on Nickelodeon with spooky specials and Henry and June spooky whiz bang Fridays and a week long Halloween in the Nickelodeon. <laughs> on the only network for Boo Nickelodeon. <laughs> Once upon an evening dreary, Nick became possessed and scary. With witches, ghosts, and demon creatures, creepy new tales and crawly new features. Like a spooky sweepstakes on Friday night, to win toys and candy and rides of fright. The tunes took over, the spirits went wild, Skeeter was screaming, cat dog in a howl. And what was the reason for this frightening shtick? Why, it was Halloween week, of course, on Nick. Don't miss a whole week of Halloween specials starting this Monday on Nick. Brought to you by Three Musketeers Chocolate Bars and Hasbro. So what's the scariest thing about the spooky whiz-bang barn dance? Is it the sleeping geezer? No. Is it the toothless fiddle player? No, indeed. Is it Henry's dancing? yippee ki yay yay Ding, 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 ding. Yahoo! You go, boy. While Henry frightens innocent people, let's enjoy Doug's Halloween adventure. <laughs> Gee whiz, Miss June, I surely wish you'd take a turn around the dance floor with me. Henry, cut the yokel jive, okay? Don't be spooked, ma'am. Some folks reckon I'm the best gosh darn dancer in five counties. That's it. Uh-oh! Hey! Very observant, Henry. As are the angry beavers, right now. Well, it had to happen. With all these spooky shows, June has been possessed by an evil spirit. I am the goddess of putrid nastiness! Whatever. So, care to tell everybody what's next on Spooky Whizbang? Mmm, Rugrats. Wanna dance? Sure, okay. 101% <laughs> Spooky Whizbang will be right back. 101% Spooky Whizbang is back. I can't look! Oh, my shattered nerves. Let's take a breather. We'll be right back. Now back to 101% Spooky Whizbang. Ooh, spooky. Feeling Halloween yet? There's more spooky stuff coming at you right after the break. I want to suck your blood. And welcome you back to the show. We'll be right back with 101% spooky whiz -boo. I mean whiz -bang. So, did you see the spooky object? I saw it. Now here's what you do. Well, since you're dying to know, write down the spooky object you saw in the previous show and send it on the postcard, <laughs> along with your name, address, phone number, and age to Nick or Treat Haunted Giveaway, Post Office Box 4805, Orlando, Florida, 32802. You could win a night of terror on the town with your friends in a haunted limousine, plus a trunk full of free musketeers bars. <laughs> Or be one of the hundred first prize winners to get a transmetal transformer. Good luck. You'll need it on the only network for Boo Nickelodeon. That was 101% spooky. And now it's time for your chance to win some spooky prizes. Tell him, Mr. Spooky Voice. Look for one of these spooky objects to come creeping across the screen during the next show. Write it down and stay tuned after the show to find out how you can be the grand prize winner of a night in a haunted limousine with a trunk full of three musketeers bars, enough to last you until next Halloween. 
or be one of the hundred first prize winners of a Transmetal Transformer. So keep your eyes peeled for the spooky object and your chance to win on the only network for Boo! Nickelodeon! Phew! Everything seems to be back to normal for a change. But there's still one thing that scares me, Hendrik. An uninformed public. All our faithful whizbangers have a burning need to know what's on Nickelodeon this weekend. June, you're absolutely right. Let's tell them. Tomorrow morning at 10.30, 9.30 Central, there's a new episode of Hey Arnold. And at 11.30, 10.30 Central, new Angry Beavers. Plus, the big new Snick has new episodes of every show in the lineup. Rugrats, The Amanda Show, 100 Deeds for Eddie McDowd, and all that. Good job, June. I'm sure glad you're not possessed anymore. What's wrong with being... Just kidding. Enjoy Nick at Night, next. Hey, everybody. I hope you got your picking finger ready, because it's time for You Pick Friday. For the next two hours, you tell us what shows to play, and we do your bidding. For instance, what show would you like to see tonight at 7.30? 6.30 Central. Rugrats, Dog, or Cat Dog? Those are your choices. Now start picking. Just call 1-800-331-7664. The show with the most votes is the winner. Simple Dimple. It's a free call, so you can save your money for important stuff, like sandwich-style pickles. Mmm. Or you can vote online at nick.com. In fact, that's exactly how our first show of the evening was picked. It's coming your way after a short break. So stick around and get picking. Alone in the world with a little cat dog. All right, You Pick Friday is underway. You pick the winner between Rugrats, Doug, or Cat Dog. It's a head-to-head-to-head -head -head grudge match. Kind of like pro wrestling, only instead of a big sweaty guy, the winner will be a TV show. Just call 1-800-331-7664 or click nick.com to cast your vote. We'll see who wins in half an hour. Meanwhile, here's a show you picked this past week at nick.com. Hey, Arnold. Roll em. And stop. Voting is now officially over for the next show on You Pick Friday. That means that in minutes, a whole mess of viewers will get real happy when we show their pick. Meanwhile, you can start voting for the 8 o'clock show now. The candidates are Rocco, Rocket Power, and the Angry Beavers. For those of you in the Central Time Zone, the show will actually begin at 7 p.m., but that should not be construed as any kind of penalty. To vote, just click nick.com or call 1-800-331-7664. It's a free call, y'all. So don't stall. Get on the ball. And quit loitering in the hall. What? The votes have been counted, the picks have been pixelated, and the show you pick to be next is... Rugrats! Of course, the final link in the you pick chain is Bigfoot. If he weren't in the tape room, it'd be dead air, baby. And remember, there are two more shows to be you picked before the pickings picked over. So click nick.com or call 1-800-331-7664. Happy voting and happy viewing. Ever wished you had a remote control that could change the show without changing the channel? Um, no. Well, now you do. It's called your phone, and it only works on You Pick Friday. Six dozen abstract mathematicians are hard at work telling up your votes for the next show. And in just minutes, we'll know what you picked. Meanwhile, the You Picking has begun for the show after that. Your choices are the Wild Thornberries, SpongeBob, and Hey Arnold. So click nick.com or call 1-800-331-7664 and vote now. And while you're doing that, please pay cursory attention to these useful advertisements. The time to announce the winner is nigh! And this one's sure to be a pants ripper. The show you pick to be next is... Rocket Power! Okay, whatever you say. Mr. Foot, slam that bad boy in there. And keep up that you picking at nick.com or 1-800-331-7664. Because there's a bushel and a peck of you pick left. Mr. Foot, roll em! Excellent pickage, all you pickers out there. And I'm sure your next pick will be just as marvelous. Reports from the western states continue to pour in, so unfortunately the race is still too close to call. They better hurry up because the tension is killing me. Don't get your neurons in a knot, June. We'll find out in just minutes. Meanwhile, you guys can pack your picking finger in ice for the moment because the phone lines are now officially closed. We'll see either the wild thornberry, SpongeBob SquarePants, or Hey Arnold right after this. I can't wait. The carnival continues here on You Pick Friday! Focus your eyes on the center ring where we have the results of the latest round of You Picking! The show you picked is... Hey Arnold! 
Democracy in action is so moving, June. I love abiding by the will of the people. As do I, Henry. Mr. Foot, make it so. Here we go, here we go. Ah! Hello, or as we say in Spanish, hola, amigos. Henry, how do you say it now? Here's your final you pick show of the night in Spanish. Um, presente. Presente. <laughs> hey, Arnold. Now, how do you say the phone lines are closed, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show you picked? Uh, you say, gracias, senor Foot. Henry, June, Mr. Foot, and you picking six hours of your favorite Nickelodeon shows live. The You Pick Monday Marathon starts tomorrow at 2 1 Central right here on Nickelodeon. Yet another well picked show. Kudos to all you You Pickers. Now, since the earpiece of your phone is probably all warm and waxy, it's time to stop calling and give yourselves a rest. The voting's closed. So, what show is next? Will it be Rocket Power, Rocco, or the Angry Beavers? Only our highly skilled vote counting monkeys know for sure. But the rest of us will find out together right after this brief commercial break. Yeah. Henry, what's better than a you picked show? Um, a puppy? No, Henry, nothing's better than a you picked show. A puppy with a solid platinum bone in his mouth? So get picking, people. The phone number is 1 800 823 8254. The web address is nick.com. Two puppies driving a convertible? The number again is 1 800 823 8254. Coming up after the. The show you picked on You Pick Friday will continue. But first, this. We told you we'd be back, and we are. Here's more of the show you picked. It's time for a healthy, nutritious You Pick Friday commercial break. We'll be back. You didn't pick those commercials, but you did pick this great Nick show. Here's more. As promised, Nickelodeon's You Pick Friday returns you to the show you picked. From Nickelodeon's animation studio in Hollywood, Nicktoon World News with Henry and June. Good evening, I'm Henry. And I'm June. Today, home safety. But first, a look at the brand new Nicktoon, Invader Zim. The show stars Zim in the role of Zim, an alien bent on taking over the Earth. To do so, he disguises himself as Zim, an Earthling grade school student. Creator Joe Nen Vasquez based the show on real-life experience. That's right. He himself was once an Earthling grade school student. And now, home safety with Mr. Foot. <laughs> Thanks, Footy. How was that home safety exactly? Mr. Foot successfully avoided being hit by an avalanche. Oh, yeah. Real tough. It's harder than you think, June. I'm June. And I'm Henry. And, and now, now you're in tune. tune. From Nickelodeon's animation studio in Hollywood, Nicktoon World News with Henry and June. Good evening, I'm Henry. And I'm June, with an update on Pokemon 3, the movie. Sources tell us that the film features many new Pokemon, as well as a short called Pichu and Pikachu. Did you say new Pokemon? Yes, I did. Well, if they're looking for new Pokemon, let me introduce... <laughs> Pikachu! Henry, what are you doing? Come on, June, it's not like I'm getting rich off this gig. You're scaring me. Of course, because Hankachu has Hula Dance Attack. Oh, no. Oh, yes, all shall fear me, even Mr. Foot cowers like a small bunny before the might of Hank. Ah! I'm June. And I'm Hank Achu. And now you're in tune. Fear me. From Nickelodeon's animation studio in Hollywood, Nicktoon World News with Henry and June. Good evening, I'm Henry. And I'm June. If you happen to watch Nickelodeon's hit movie, Rugrats in Paris, on DVD, you may notice a change from the theatrical version. That's right, June. There are two new alternate scenes at the very end of the movie. In each scene, the evil Coco LaBouche gets a new job in Reptar Land. They're both very different, and they're both unpleasantly stinky. Are they even more unpleasantly stinky than Mr. Foot? I don't know what you're talking about, Henry. Come on, June. Surely you've noticed that Mr. Foot smells like elk vomit. Henry, you know how sensitive he is. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Foot. How could I be so callous? I... Uh... Smells fine to me. I'm Henry. And I'm June. And now you're in tune. From Nickelodeon's animation studio in Hollywood, Nicktoon World News with Henry and June. Good evening. I'm Henry. And I'm June. Tonight, good news for invertebrate fans. Did they finally make the scallop our national bird? No, my confused co-anchor. SpongeBob's Nicktoon Summer Splash is back. 
Once again, Mr. Squarepants and his pals will be hosting Nicktoons from the briny deep. That's great! Hosting is complex, demanding work, and SpongeBob is almost as good at it as I am. It's great that Nick is bringing him back, because I'll tell you, not just any bozo can do this job. I'm June. And I'm incensed! And now you're in tune. <laughs> From Nickelodeon's animation studio in Hollywood, Nicktoon World News with Henry and June. I'm Henry. And I'm June. Who's taking baby steps down Hollywood Boulevard? It's the Rugrats. After 10 years and 10,000 diapers, the Tinseltown Tots are getting their own star on the Walk of Fame. A sidewalk in Hollywood where screen stars' names are immortalized in concrete. And no one deserves it more than the Rugrats. A side note, they're not the first tunes to be honored this way. Other famous cartoons with their own stars include Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, and Harrison Ford. Henry, Harrison Ford is not a cartoon. But he's so perky and flexible. True, but he's not a tune. Well... Then I would like to apologize to Mr. Ford for dropping that anvil on him. I'm Henry. And I don't know why I bother. And now you're in tune. From Nickelodeon's animation studio in Hollywood, Nicktoon World News with Henry and June. Good evening, I'm Henry. And I'm June. We've never made it this far. Fairly odd parents. Okay, that's a look. I'm hungry. Where's that kebab I ordered? Henry, we should also tell them something about Butch Hartman. Oh, okay. Butch Hartman is no stranger to animation. He's worked on shows like Dexter's Laboratory and Johnny Bravo. If his new series, The Fairly Odd Parents, looks familiar, it's because the characters first appeared on Nickelodeon's Oh Yeah! cartoons. Dinner time! Henry, it isn't here yet. Do the next story. Oh, okay. This just in. My food is late and I'm hungry. Ugh. I'm June. And I want my kebab. And now you're in tune. We just learned that the Fairly Odd Parents are up next, followed by Invader Zim. And I'm here to remind you that hamsters are not hors d'oeuvres. Only on Nickelodeon. <laughs> Sources close to the programming department say Invader Zim is next, followed by Rocket Power. Sources close to my feet say they are stinky. Keep watching for more. Today's big story, Rocket Power is next. And after that, Nick at Night. And after that, the rest of your natural life. Only on Nickelodeon.